Sarah Leah Whitson. She is the executive director of Democracy for the Arab World Now, which is a group launched by Khashoggi supporters to advocate for democratic rights in the Arab world. Sarah, thanks for being with us. Where is justice for Jamal two years after his death? Well, there's been a variety of justice uh, of sorts. Uh, certainly the highest form of justice, seeing the criminals, uh, the true criminals, the masterminds of this crime behind bars, uh, remains elusive. Uh, but the reality is that in the court of public opinion, uh, Mohammed bin Salman uh, has been uh, found guilty for his crimes, as well as his associate, Saud al-Kahtani. Um, there are ongoing efforts uh, to uh, seek justice for his crimes, and that's why Mohammed bin Salman has not dared to travel uh, to Europe or the United States uh, since this gruesome murder. Uh, civil society organizations are doing their utmost uh, to keep uh, this crime and other crimes of the Saudi Arabian government in the spotlight. Uh, and that's why we see so much controversy around Saudi Arabia's planned uh, public uh, relations extravaganza uh, with the uh, G20 uh, scheduled in uh, Riyadh uh, virtually. And that's why so many are dropping out. Uh, just this week, four mayors of the largest cities in the world have dropped out, including New York. Los Angeles, Paris, and London. And so the stain of this crime continues to hound uh, Mohammed bin Salman and the Saudi government. Uh, and I wanted to touch on that for a second. You know, as you mentioned, this year Saudi Arabia will be hosting that G20 leader summit. And another sign that Western governments have been moving past this controversy over his killing. What is your organization's plan to change the policy here in Washington, whether it be with a Trump or Biden administration? Um, well, I think that uh, we already have a great deal of support in both houses of Congress, bipartisan members of Congress, Republicans and Democrats, uh, joined together in a rare show of unity uh, to demand accountability from the Saudi government and to restrict arms sales to Saudi Arabia for its crimes in Yemen, uh, as well as its domestic abuses, uh, including the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. It was only President Trump uh, that uh, managed to protect uh, Mohammed bin Salman. In fact, he boasted of saving his ass. Uh, and it uh, is a very thin read that the, the Saudi government is relying on in its support from the Trump administration. Uh, if Trump loses the election, I think it's very clear that there will be no more protection for Saudi Arabia uh, in this end. And that's why I think the Saudi Arabian government is quite worried. And this was, of course, a mission uh, bringing uh, certainly his supporters said Tuesday it would be um, it would that their goal was to really expose the injustices that Jamal Khashoggi did. I mean, how do you continue that mission? Um, well, justice for Jamal is one of the missions of our organization, of course, uh, and that's why we are very focused right now on insisting on the declassification of the report uh, by America's own intelligence agency, uh, the Department of National Intelligence, uh, which has reportedly found the evidence that directly implicates Mohammed bin Salman uh, for the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. Now, the U.S. government, uh, the Congress passed a law requiring the Trump administration to make this report public. So far, the Trump administration has violated uh, the country's own laws uh, by showing the report to certain members of the Senate, but refusing to declassify it. That's why we are in support of the lawsuit uh, that is currently being uh, sought against the uh, State Department and the Department of National Intelligence to force them to release that report so that the evidence is clear to the whole world. Sarah Leah Whitson, we appreciate you being with us on the program. Thanks for that.